Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 10th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Thank you so much for joining us today, giving an update on our sun and earth and volcanoes and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours, imagery of our sun, Solar Dynamics Observatory. No major solar flares to talk about. Only that large coronal mass ejection that was Earth-facing yesterday still is on and expected, most likely into tomorrow, late tomorrow, and into the 12th. It will be here quick. Looking at the last 48 hours, incoming and outgoing, which is pretty much the west side and then the east side of our sun just flipped on its side. Just a different way of looking at our sun. The last 48 hours multi-spectrum showing the, mo the most major events over the past 48 hours. Large plasma, uh, plasma filament destabilization as well powerful activity outgoing sunspot region and big coronal hole northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere building Looking here at another late 171 angstroms, as right now we have an active six sunspot regions, including the one that is turning away, causing quite a bit of activity. Closer look at the sunspot regions in action. And look how fast that upper one is moving. We're going to zoom in even closer to that. Just amazing as it was moving eastward. And then kind of got blocked there. As a pretty extraordinary sunspot region in a 48 hour period to be moving that fast. It's current space weather conditions, there are none to report. So just wait, things will be coming in. Right now, our solar winds are sitting at 519 kilometers per second, which is still pretty fast. Solar X-ray flux showing long duration, moderate C-class solar flare today as well. A couple other spikes, but the solar proton flux was up a little bit. Quite static right now and will be expected to change here over the next 24 hours. Uh, ISWA space prediction spiral still showing that large CME coming our way. LASCO 2. Showing the last two days of events. Halo CME right there with a couple flashes. And as well a fast firing plasma filament in the early frames from the 8th. Versus Lasco 3. A little broader look at it. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Please don't forget to smack that like button. Thank you all so much for your love and support, the memberships, and as well as the super chats. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much and much love. Sharing some pretty amazing images here from NASA and SOHO. Current 24-hour aurora forecast. Moderate probability of auroras but a lot through Eastern Russia and as well through Canada. And this is running through yet one more time starting tonight. So through Canada, northern parts, you will see some northern lights pretty much just about to the border of the United States. It will be moderate. Still some amazing images to see if you're able to get out and see them. All right, let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours as we've had some more activity here at the Band of Sea. As expected, another large earthquake here coming. 6.1 in the Band of Sea. Expecting more activity to come here. Nothing has really released yet. The volcanic uptick in Iceland. All of this activity in the Band of Sea, this is the last seven days. 
as we've seen a 7.1, 6.7, and now 6.1. Look at that. Nothing to talk about through Fiji. No deep earthquakes the past 24 hours. Notable earthquake there, 5.3 Japan, and as well a 5.8 earthquake here. Kuril Islands, which is another place where you don't see that sizable of an earthquake. Volcanic chain in between Japan and Russia must be folding over, moving eastward. Activity moving up into the Rat Islands, Aleutian Islands. And then notable earthquake here, North American Plate, 4.3 Nevada. Now... I had to go to USGS right away to see exactly where this earthquake was. Right now they're reporting 261 earthquakes in a 24-hour period. And small swarm, of course, occurring at Banda Sea. But also quite a few earthquakes rang out here. Ten of them through Utah. And look at that. Pretty much central of what looks like a huge caldera in Nevada. And then all of a sudden, minor earthquakes all around the rim of this, what, as I said, looks like a caldera. Volcano. An old, extinct volcano. Right there. Look at the red rock that's all there, too. Wow. But yeah, peculiar earthquakes there, east of Tahoe, and as well, Mono Lake. And then, interesting activity already popping up here through the Caribbean and Dominican Republic with a 5.0 earthquake. Not much to talk about across the rest of the world. A lot of the activity is through Alaska, Banda Sea, minor earthquakes, even a 5.2 Iran, and then Iceland. Look at all the earthquakes today. Seven to ten of them all ranging from 4.2 to 4.7 magnitude, right all around that big fault line. Iceland is just one huge volcano. It's probably the largest volcano on the planet. Just saying. And let's have a look at the last seven days and listen to the heartbeat of our planet. Because this is rhythmatic. I was listening to this earlier and it's interesting large boom boom from the 7.1 6.7s band of sea reverberates around the planet and it correlates and coincides with other earthquakes around the world as our planet is going through great changes and we are going through great changes together I want to thank you all for watching thank you for being here a part of one of the best communities on YouTube love you all so much now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and the most recent volcanoes getting updated today looking at the Mayan volcano in the Philippines and as well Fuego and uh, Simaru. You got Sange, Luatolo in Indonesia. Popocatito in Mexico, Tocono in Indonesia, Sabancaya in Peru. Santa Maria, Guatemala, Shevelich, Russia, Kluchevskoy, Russia, Reventador, Ecuador. So that's about 11 to 12 volcanoes getting updated today. Quick look here at satellite imagery. This is the last two days of imagery. as well overlooking the rest of the world Pacific Ocean interesting little low pressure system moving west of Hawaii right now look at that thing roll 
overlooking Africa, Europe, multiple low pressure systems still pounding the coastlines there. But high pressure ridge moving in from Africa could help clear things out for southern parts of Europe. Now let's get to the world weather forecast brought to you by windy.com pointing out the major systems that will be affecting us this week as we've got some pretty strong low pressure systems moving through the Atlantic and as well through Central Pacific in the long range forecast a lot of velocity and strength of these systems are picking up does that coincide with the uh, solar winds that we are seeing over 670 kilometers per second i do believe so because pretty much right after those winds everything started to pick up low pressure centers were getting bigger intensity of the low pressure centers were able to keep their centers still some big systems rolling around our planet and forecasted for the next couple of weeks. Let's have a look at our polar vortex. This is pretty much our upper level winds around the world right now. Northern Hemisphere versus Southern. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.